Hey guys, Gabe here from Team Genius Customer Success. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to walk through scoring in Team Genius uh, with the ability to use multiple player pools at once. So the first thing you're going to do is log into the Team Genius mobile app. Uh, you're going to put in your name, email address, and the access key and click sign in. The view we have today is I'm showing you our uh, landscape mode view so that you can see uh, the kind of full view. First thing you're going to do is select your player pool or player pools. So you've got options on the left hand side to select your player pools. Uh, then we can see the players that we have selected here in the app. We can click on the lower right hand corner and filter if we want to filter by position uh, or different evaluation groups. We can also sort our players. We can click the green check mark on the bottom if we want to save that filter. If we want to take a picture of any of the players, we can click on the little camera icon. Click on that camera icon, take a picture, flip it. It's going to crop that image and then upload to the cloud so you can see that when you're uh, both taking scores, reviewing scores, and then any reports. Once you select the players from multiple player pools, you can see here uh, by clicking on the right hand side, then you can click start. If your organization has enabled mobile player check-in, so you're going to be checking players in, you would check, click on the green button that's going to appear on the lower left hand side. I'm going to hit start here and I'm going to be able to go in and start evaluating my players. If I click on skills, for example, I'll be able to evaluate my players on skills. On the left hand side, you can see that they, we have the meters that are going to show you how many of these skills you've scored each player on. I can move the slider to score my players. The first time that I move that slider, these scores are going to save. Um, you can see that as I move those sliders, a green check mark appears. In Team Genius, these scores are always going to auto save. There is no submit or save. So that green check mark is just letting you, as the evaluator, know that that score saved. Um, if you came back to that player, you wouldn't necessarily see that check mark anymore because that's already saved. But if you edited that score, you would see that check mark. If you wanted to add a comment, you can click on the little bubble on the lower left of where you just put in a score. And you can either put in pre canned comments by clicking on the plus if the or your organization has put in pre canned comment snippets. You can type in comments. Uh, or you can use voice dictation by clicking on the microphone icon on your keypad and it will translate what you're saying into text. If your organization had put in instructions, you can see in a little eye icon uh, over on the lower right of where you put in a score. You can click on that and then there would be instructions there if your organization had put in instructions. You can also switch on the left hand side. Uh, from players view to criteria view, which if you're doing stational drills, you could move between the different cri the different criterias and score all your players at once on those specific criterias. You can also click on the clipboard icon on the very bottom to move to a different scoring form or things you're going to evaluate your players based on. So we've got an example here of height, standing rates, vertical, 40 yard dash. I'm going to click on 40 yard dash. Maybe I'm going to do some time drills on my players. I'm going to click on the stopwatch, start stop save it just automatically saved my score now i'm going to switch real quickly to the more traditional phone view where you can see that what this would look like if you had it uh, on a phone and in this view you can see that if i click in the upper left hand corner the three bars that's a hamburger menu that will let me back out and switch around where i am in the app to a different part of scoring maybe i want to do pro agility it'll load that i can click on the stopwatch start stop save these scores are going to auto save now if i'm in good wi-fi or data these scores will sync with the organization if however i am, am not in an area with good wi-fi or data i can these scores will save onto my device locally i can go back by clicking the upper left till i get back to my players menu pull down by putting my finger on and then releasing and this will refresh these scores back to the organization this is also what you do if there are new players that were added as walk-ups since you started scoring your players. You just go back to where you see your players via the upper left-hand hamburger menu. Pull down, put your finger on, pull down, and refresh. That will refresh your scores. Again, two different views. We've got a traditional phone view. And if I turn my device to the side, so into uh, landscape mode, then you will see uh, a more, a more uh, full view of your players hitting start, going into skills, for example, and then those percentages. You can always see those percentage meters on the left-hand side if you click in your hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner. Again, you can switch between different scoring forms by clicking on the little piece of paper icon in the very bottom. And you can move between players by clicking on the arrows when you're selecting a specific player to score uh, in your evaluation. 
This has been Gabe from Team Genius Customer Success. Let us know if you have any questions, and happy evaluating.